Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight as we are going to pass out scholarships and awards to our 2020 graduating class of Zane Trace High School. Certainly not the end of the year that we had anticipated, but we're going to make the best of it. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people receiving money tonight that they didn't know they had coming. And uh, this has always been something that, I, that I've looked forward to every year. We had uh, some exciting scholarships to pass out, some things that you probably applied for and don't remember seniors. Uh, or you haven't heard about and you've forgotten about, and tonight you may get some money that you didn't know that was coming for college. So, um, I, again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank Mrs. Myers for contacting all our guest scholarship presenters. We've got several people that have sent in videos. Got to thank Corey uh, Jullaret from the IT office. He's really helped us piece together this thing. And uh, again, thank you all for your patience. This has not been the end of the year we anticipated, but uh, we're excited uh, to still offer scholarships and class awards from teachers that have all made this possible. Thank you so much. My senior spotlight is for Ray Eblen. Ray Eblen's always been willing to help me out with whatever needs done in class. Good student down there in the shop. Ray has gone above and beyond for a lot of the different projects that we do down there. Kind of took the lead on the maple syrup production and just all around good kid to be around, always willing to help out. Good things are in store for you, Mr. Evelyn. Good luck. Thanks for everything. Hello, class of 2020. I'd like to acknowledge our three and four year varsity letter winners. I'm going to begin with our female athletes. We have Hannah Addy, soccer, four years. Jessica Causey, bowling, three years. Lily Clark, soccer, four years, track, three years. Gabby Ham, softball, four years. Gabby Hutchinson, soccer, three years. Mackenzie Lunsford, cross country, three years. Story McClellan, soccer, four years. Aaron Nelson, soccer, four years. Madison Rittenhouse, softball, four years. And Mackenzie Rittenhouse, softball, four years. For our male athletes, have Owen Campbell, track, four years. Triton Davidson, basketball, four years. Cam Evans, basketball, four years. Cam Farley, baseball, four years. Christian Fetters, football, three years. Soccer, three years. Baseball, three years. Carson Forkham, golf, four years. Caden Howard, soccer, three years. Luke Johnson, soccer, three years. Basketball, four years. Ethan Jones, golf, three years. Lane Larson, football, three years. Baseball, four years. Nip Nesser, basketball, four years. Eli Preston, cross country, three years. Andrew Ramsey, soccer, three years. Nate Roy, golf, four years. Bowling, three years. Cooter Stauffer, football, three years. Colby Swain, basketball, three years. Matt Waltz, bowling, three years. Jackson Wells, soccer, three years. And Jeremiah Wooten, soccer, three years. In conclusion, I'd like to congratulate the entire Zane Trace graduating class of 2020. May you have success in all of your future endeavors. And may you carry on the pioneer pride on whatever path your future takes you. Go Trace! Hi, my name is Dana Myers, school counselor. Welcome to the Zane Trace High School Class of 2020 awards presentation. There are 138 candidates for graduation. 50% will be seeking additional education next year. 41% have received scholarships specific to their university. The estimated scholarship amount earned by Zane Trace students beginning at a college or university in the fall of 2020, including those scholarships that have been earned that are renewable, 
is $660,077. Some of the colleges, universities, and technical schools that our students have been accepted to include Brigham, Young, Cedarville, Cincinnati, Heidelberg, Hawking, Malone, Marietta, Ohio Christian, Ohio Dominican, Ohio University, Ohio University Chillicothe, Ohio State, Otterbein, Palm Beach Atlantic, Pickway Ross Adult Ed, Shawnee State, and Wilmington. Some of the majors and career paths that Zane Trey students plan to pursue include aerospace, biology, business management, biochemistry, computer science, dental hygienist, education, elementary, early childhood, and music, engineering, environmental science, exercise science, exercise physiology, factory worker, firefighter EMT, forestry, graphic design, music and film, nursing, phlebotomy, pre-med, and psychology. These students have participated in post-secondary options while in high school. Iroquois Chamberlain, Olivia Cousins, Mason DeLong, Dylan Henry, Brady Hodson, Treble Hook, Aaron Nelson, Eli Preston, Nathan Rogers, Nathaniel Roy, Patricia Shanton, Noah Roark, Sarah Roark, Jacob Russell, Jalen Sparks, April Wolf, Dylan Wolf, and Rose Wolf. Congratulations to all of you students who participated in CCP while in high school. These seniors have indicated commitments to continue their athletic career in college. Hannah Addy, Shawnee State Soccer, Andrew Ramsey, University of Finley, Soccer, William Fetters, Wilmington College Football, Lily Clark, Ohio Dominican, Track and Field, Cam Farley, Heidelberg Baseball, Daly Van Curen, Shawnee State Swimming, Colby Swain, Wittenberg Basketball, Cam Evans, Otterbein Basketball. Congratulations to all of you students who are going to pursue your athletic career in college. These students have earned scholarship money to continue their education. Leah Branson, Maylee Brower, Lily Clark, Sydney Deal, Cam Farley, Gabrielle Hutchinson, Olivia Green, Gabrielle Hamm, Cody Halbell, Kylie Henry, Brady Hodson, Kara McCullough, Story McClellan, Nicholas Nesser, Eli Preston, Sarah Roar, Nathan Rogers, Jacob Russell, Michaela Seidel, Adam Swart, Evan Swepson, Megan Wagner, and Rebecca Young. Congratulations to all of you students on working so hard to earn those scholarships. Ohio University Chillicothe has asked me to present the following scholarship to the following students. Nicholas Nesser, Distinction Scholarship, half tuition for four years. Honors Scholarship, $1,000. Gabrielle Hamm, Merit Scholarship, $1,000 for four years. Eli Preston, Merit Scholarship, $1,000 for four years. Story McKellen, 1804 Scholarship, $1,300. Kylie Henry, Clayton Stein Scholarship, $1,600. Congratulations to those students who are pursuing their careers at Ohio University. The Tristan Miller Music Scholarship, um, the family has asked me to present this scholarship to the following students. Maylee Brower, $500. Rebecca Young, $500. Congratulations. I would like to thank, say thank you to Mr. Wortman for everything that you do and for all of your help throughout the year. Thank you to all of our scholarship committee participants for your dedication and making sure that the students at St. Trace High School are given the opportunity to continue their education. And thank you parents for all of your hard work in raising such fine young men and women. Thank you to the class of 2020 for all of your patience and for responding to and dealing with all of my emails. I met most of you in the first grade and it has been an absolute honor to watch you grow and I know you will move on to do great things. I wish you all the best of luck, and remember, this is not the end, but only the beginning. Good luck, Class of 2020, Zane Trace High School. Hola. Uh, I really hate talking to a camera, um, but I'm going to give up my Spanish forward. First of all, I uh, know this has been a difficult situation for everyone, and uh, I really do miss you guys, and you've been a great class. Uh, my award does go this year, Spanish for to Jacob Russell. Felicitaciones, Jacob. Uh, y hasta luego. Hello, Zane Trace, class of 2020. 
This is Mr. Clark here, and I want to say congratulations to you all. And today I'm going to present a biology award to um, students that came to class every day ready to learn and participated and just brightened my day. The first award goes to Michaela Seidel. Congratulations, Michaela. And the second award goes to Cougar Stauffer. Congratulations and good luck to you all. Hi guys. I know you're super excited to see who the top student in English classes this year. The top student in English 4 is Michaela Seidel. Congrats, Michaela. And the top student in Honors English 4 is Gabby Ham. Congratulations, Gabby. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Kate Waller, the Zane Trace Band Director. I want to announce the winner of our scholarship and a few other band awards for this year. The Zane Trace Band Booster Scholarship is a one-time $500 scholarship that is given to one of our seniors each year. This year, the recipient will be Maylee Brower. Congratulations. Um, and the other awards that we're going to hand out this year, um, I decided that this would be a great year to incorporate some new awards into our program. So I will get to the John Philip Sousa Award in a minute. Um, but this year, um, I've decided to go ahead and start handing out a marching award. The National School Marching Award recognizes a student's outstanding contributions on the field. These students are disciplined, focused, and an inspiration to their peers. And I can't think of a more deserving member of our band to receive the marching award than Leah Branson. She was an outstanding field commander this year and assistant field commander last year and just amazing. So congratulations, Leah. You'll be getting our very first marching band award. The next new award for this year is the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award, which recognizes students whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity leave a lasting impression on the whole group. I don't understand why this person did not join band when she was in fifth grade um, because she was one of the strongest musicians that I had the pleasure of teaching in third and fourth grade. So I was very, very happy when she finally joined band her freshman year and she learned very quickly and progressed and just kept improving. And then she started taking private lessons and just kept shining brighter and brighter and brighter. Um, she truly has a gift and a spark. And I hope that she keeps it with her as she starts her journey as a future music educator at Marietta College. Uh, the first ever Leonard Bernstein Award is going to Rebecca Young. <clears throat> This year's John Philip Sousa Award is being given to two people. This award recognizes students with outstanding dedication, superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, and loyalty. Um, when I think about these two individuals, I can't list all the ways that they've helped me and helped our program. The award is going to Patty Shanton and Maylee Brower. Um, Patty has actually been in band every single year since fifth grade. She's the only one. A couple people have taken uh, like one year off here and there. And she went on a European tour this year playing her baritone. She was our baritone and tuba player in the band, which is like the foundation of the band. Um, it's been a wonderful 10 years of having her as a student. Uh, Maylee Brower is a wonderful pianist and saxophonist. Um, she helps in every way that she possibly can. Um, both, both young ladies are wonderful leaders in our program and have really helped our young musicians blossom. And I can't thank you guys enough. 
And to all of our seniors, thank you so much for everything you've done, and I will miss you so much. This award goes to A.J. Johnson. Congratulations, A.J., also on your scholarship to the Modern College of Art and Design. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for taking all four years of art with me. You're the most well-deserved. I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to miss you. Hello, Zane Trace Class of 2020. My name is Paige Congrove, and I am co-president of the Zane Trace FTO, or Family Teacher Organization, along with Megan Jean and our treasurer, Kim Euler. I want to take this time to congratulate you on all of your accomplishments throughout your time at Zane Trace. I also want to apologize, as I know your senior year may not have ended the way any of us planned. But please know, Mr. Wortman and all of the staff at Zane Trace have worked very hard to make this the best it can be. The funding for these scholarships happens through our Mother's Day Hanging Basket Sale, the Zane Trace Sausage Booth at the Ross County Fair, our Mum Sale in the fall, and other events throughout the year. We appreciate your continued support to allow us to continue to give these scholarships. This year's recipients will receive a $200 scholarship. Those recipients are Nicholas Nesser, Nathan Rogers, and Gabrielle Hamm. Congratulations, guys, and congratulations, Class of 2020. We wish you all the best of luck. I'd like to present the award for Ag Business Management to Senior Bree Morrow. Uh, Bree, thank you so much for all the hard work that you put into our FFA programs and to our class activities this year. You were a huge part of our fruit sales success. You helped lead the charge on coffee in college to make sure we had a good panel of graduates to come back and speak to students. And you were instrumental in making sure that the sausage breakfast this year uh, reach new goals and we were able to complete our donation to Children's Hospital um, even with the bad weather that we had. Bree, you're a great student. I know you're going to be very successful in the future and if you've learned nothing else in my class you know how to make great jelly like a champ. Thanks again. Hi, this is Tony Barna, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Shelley Company Southern Division. The Shelley Company is a leading aggregate, concrete ready mix, and asphalt paving contractor in the state of Ohio. We employ over 1,600 employees out of 90 locations. Each year, our scholarship program recognizes more than 20 seniors from various high schools across Ohio for their hard work in the classroom and in the community. Today, I am both honored and proud to announce that Maylee Brower is a 2020 recipient of the $500 Shelley Company Community Scholarship. Congratulations, Maylee, and good luck in your future endeavors. Class of 2020, my name is Donnie Gerald, Zane Trace Athletic Booster President. Before we get started, I would like to thank my booster officers, Corey Gerald, Brandy Guffey, Juana Gay, Pete Dunkel, and Janet Eddy. I also would like to thank Mr. Mowry, Mr. Wortman, Administration, Board of Education, and all the people that have helped our organization. This class is unique. I believe this is the 9-11 class and now we are dealing with the coronavirus. This class has seen many changes with our athletic facilities. The boosters have provided over a million dollars with the turf athletic complex and more. Normally, we give out four scholarships every year, but this year, everyone that signed up will receive a $350 scholarship. We have nine student athletes that applied, and here they are. Jacob Russell, Owen Campbell, Lily Clark, Christian Fetters, Hannah Addy, Andrew Ramsey, Patty Shanton, Nick Nesser, and Cam Evans. 25 years ago, I graduated from Zane Trace, and now I try to volunteer my time along with many others to help out our Zane Trace student athletes. We wish nothing but the best for all the seniors. If there is one thing that I could ask each one of you, dream big, work hard, and always give back to your community. God bless. Hi, my name is Ryan Newman, 2001 graduate of Zane Trace, and I am also one of the officers and members of Logan Elm Lodge 624 Free and Accepted Masons located in Kingston, Ohio. This year, my organization is giving away a $1,000 scholarship to a notable senior of the graduating class of 2020 from Zane Trace. We had several applicants apply, but one has stood out amongst the rest. I am pleased to announce that this year's winner will be Cam Evans. Cam, Congratulations on all of your accomplishments throughout your high school career 
And to the entire graduating class of 2020, we wish you all the best of luck into the future. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Lori Jones Clark and I am a 1980 graduate of St. Trace High School and I am the 2020 St. Trace High School Alumni Association President. On behalf of the Alumni Association and its officers, we would like to congratulate the 2020 seniors and their families. It was unfortunate we were not able to give these scholarships out at our banquet. Um, we do hope to reschedule that later this summer or early fall, if at all possible. We will get that information out as soon as it is available. I have the honor of giving out three scholarships this evening. The first two are Alumni Association scholarships for $500 each. And then the third, also for $500, is a new scholarship, the Wendy Ray Arth Memorial Scholarship. Wendy was a, decade, a dedicated teacher and swim coach, and her family and friends are honored to be able to give out this $500 scholarship. This scholarship is going to go to Jacob Russell. Jacob was a three-year competitive swimmer, and um, he did that at the Pickaway YMCA and also at Zane Trace. Congratulations, Jacob. Our alumni scholarships will go to Cameron Evans. He is the son of Beth Evans, a 1991 graduate, and the grandson of the late Bonnie Miller Evans, and she was a 1959 graduate. Congratulations, Cameron. Our second scholarship will go to Nick Nesser. Listed as alumni on his um, application are Heather Nesser, class of 92, Marion Nesser, class of 1991, and Keith Seymour, class of 1972. Congratulations, Nick. Thank you, everybody, for allowing us the honor of giving out these scholarships tonight, and we wish you all the best. Everybody, stay safe. At this time, I would like to present the Nikki Morris Book Scholarship. Nikki Morris was a Zane Trace student and varsity soccer player tragically killed in an automobile accident in the early 1990s. Since his passing, his family has sponsored a scholarship, a memorial scholarship in his honor. This year, the winner of the Nikki Morris Scholarship goes to Gabby Ham. Gabby, you'll receive an email from uh, Mrs. Myers with the contact at Kingston National Bank you will use to claim your scholarship award. Congratulations. The next scholarship we would like to present is the Raymond J. Pack Scholarship and that is awarded to local students that have demonstrated an ability to overcome obstacles. And this year, we were very fortunate. We received two winners at Zane Trace. Both of these are $1,000 scholarships. And the first winner is Kylie Henry, and the second winner is Patty Shanton. So again, congratulations to, to those students, and uh, best of luck. Hello, I'd now like to present the Roy Congrove Junior Scholarship. Roy Congrove was a former student athlete at Zane Trace, as well as an assistant basketball coach and the head JV basketball coach. He was very successful and a mentor to a lot of student athletes at Zane Trace, myself included. Coach Congrove passed away in a car accident in the late 1990s, and since that time, his family and friends have sponsored the Roy Congrove Memori Memorial Scholarship. This year's winners of the award are Cody Halbau and Christian Fetters. Congratulations to both of them, and uh, they will be receiving a check from the Chillicothe Foundation. Hi, I'm Scott Graham. I'm the executive director of the Chillicothe Ross Community Foundation, where we connect people who care with causes that matter. And I'm so excited today to announce another Zane Trace High School Scholarship. This one's really special because the very first class at Zane Trace High School, the class of 1966, the alumni have developed a scholarship to continue to award a scholarship every year 
to a Zane Trace High School graduate. And this year, the first class scholarship fund is going to award the amount of $1,966 to Dylan Wolf. Congratulations, Dylan, on being the winner of the Zane Trace First Class Scholarship. We wish you the best in your studies. At Class Night every year, we like to award our top 10 in the senior class with a, an honors plaque. And this year, our top 10 will all receive a plaque that looks like this. And at this time, I would like to recognize those students. Nick Nesser, Camden Farley, Dylan Wolf, Maylee Brower, Cody Howbow, Gabby Ham, Story McClelland, Eli Preston, Evan Swepston, and Jacob Russell. All 10 of these students will be able to pick up their plaque when they come in for their individual graduation ceremony. And we are excited to uh, this year offer all 10 of these students a $500 scholarship from the Columbus Foundation. It is the Mary Sibrel Raider Scholarship. That will be mailed directly to your house. They have your address and you should get it within four to six weeks. So congratulations to the Zane Trace top 10 in the class. In closing tonight, guys, I just want to say congratulations uh, to all of you who applied and received scholarships. Uh, your hard work paid off, and we appreciate you sticking with us. Uh, appreciate everyone that, that tuned in tonight. Uh, this, again, is not how we pictured it, and it's not, uh, I guess, the traditional way to hold a class night. But uh, we're proud of this group. I'm proud of this group. I'm also proud of the teachers uh, that we've had. We've had uh, a lot of adversity and people have stuck with things and uh, we did the best we can. And uh, again, I, this, this class uh, of 2020 will always hold a very special place in my heart. And uh, I would encourage you all to tune in next Saturday night on May the 16th at six o'clock uh, as we will be posting our graduation video and uh, have some surprises with that and, and uh, very excited. And uh, seniors, I can't wait to see you uh, again in person when you come in for your diploma. Take care, everyone, and have a good night.